You can use custom shapes in Photoshop to create vast range of different designs. But one thing you can do with them that's very effective are uh, using them for masks and frames. Now, there's numerous ways of actually creating masks and frames in Photoshop, but uh, this is just one, one or two ways of doing the same. Right, now I've got an image here already. I've just got a custom shape tool over here, and I'm just going to select that. There's the custom shape tool. And I've actually set the option to pixels and select a shape. And these are from Graphic Extras, a curved frame design set, pack 195. I'm just going to select one of those. And at that point, I'm just going to enter quick mask mode. Just going to quickly apply that design just there. And you will see this standard red just go over there. Of course, you can change that if you wish. And once you've done that, just go exit out of the thing. And actually, you've got straight away, you've got a frame. You can actually now fill that black. It fills that whole entire area with, and it's a basic frame design. Of course, then you can invert that. You can stroke. I'm going to set that to white so it's a bit more obvious. Straight away, you've got a quick and easy frame. That's one way. Now, another way of doing this, I'm just going to go out, back, back out. And I'm going to go select another, ah, maybe that one. Right, select that one. And I'm just going to go and select the entire image this time. Select all. Copy. Deselect. Go back into Quick Mask. Right. Select. Right. I don't want to select at that point. I actually want to go back down now to that. So, right, I've got this basic selection again. And I'm going to now inverse. So, all I've got is the, the image. Obviously, now I can actually copy into that using the paste. Paste into. And of course, at this point, you can't see anything. But I can actually move it now slightly. Now, it's actually within that selected area, the frame that was, of course, there's still the edge there. But uh, obviously, if you keep it within that sort of thing. Right. So that's a basic, quick way of creating maybe a slightly more interesting frame than before. Now, another thing, I'm just going to quickly come out of that. And I'm going to go and select another frame, another selection, just go there, quick frame again, just quickly apply that, exit out again, quick mask, select, inverse, and I'm going to copy the actual, this selection now. So edit, copy, and I'm just going to then go select. Deselect. I'm going to fill the whole area now with black. I don't want that anymore. So I could, of course, fill it with a gradient or a, a pattern, maybe. Maybe something more exciting than uh, just black. If I could show you that. Fill. Pattern. Let's go for one of the standard. Pend. Okay. Right. So you've got a basic background now. Now I can just do edit paste and I've got the a frame against background of well, some texture right also I can of course at this point apply effects to the uh, frame so I'm just going to quickly bevel that selection and maybe add a drop shadow as well or maybe an inner shadow And so on and so on. There's a vast range of different things you can do to create a frame. And of course, you do not have just to apply a single one. I can actually now just go paste. And I can apply, add another one, which I can, of course, at this point, resize. Rotate. As well as, again, apply effects. Maybe another inner shadow. Okay, 
So anyway, that is a quick, easy way of creating frame designs in Photoshop.